couple of things to look at here. I've never purchased this item before, so my direct unit cost here is zero. But if I go over, uh, because this has variant codes, and I select what I want to buy here, and I tab off of this, notice this now gives me a direct unit cost of $75, because that's what I pay for the better quality. And notice it changed my, my description for me also to uh, a triple A quality Havana cigar. If I go across to the a little further over here, I see my vendor number is here, and I see the vendor item number being displayed here as well. So, and the replenishment system is going to be a purchase order. So, this item now is is all set up and ready to uh, for me to actually purchase, create the purchase order for it. So for each of these lines, there is a, uh, a little checkbox here. It says accept ash action message. And uh, what this does is that if I have a whole bunch of these lines, I could check on and off which ones of these I actually want to create production orders for. They come in with this box checked, assuming that you want to uh, take its suggestion on what it's going to do here. This box is checked. This is all set. There's a button up here that says carry out action message. I click this. It asks me if I want to print it, which I'm not going to do. And I simply can say OK here. This has gone out now and uh, created a purchase order for me to purchase these uh, cigars. I can close my requisition worksheet. And I'm back to my Havana cigar here. And what I can do is click this Navigate button. And if I look in the purchasing area here, I can find orders. So these are purchase orders that I have uh, created or that are open for this. And if I navigate to this, I can see that I have one purchase order out here. And uh, the document number is 106027. And if I go to navigate here, I can actually see my purchase order for this particular item. So I have a cigar that I'm uh, ordering, and it's put in my new description based upon my variant code. Quantity of 100 uh, boxes at $75 each, and it's purchasing these from vendor 30,000. Uh, one of the things that I can uh, do with this is that I can go to the print routine here, and uh, when I preview this, Again, it doesn't have a company logo on it, but notice it now has, it doesn't say cigar, it has the vendor item number on it. It shows the grade that I'm purchasing. I'm buying boxes, $175 each, total $7,500. So uh, this really kind of completes the cycle here. And I could have uh, 150 lines sitting in that requisition worksheet. When I tell it to carry out action messages, it'll create 150 purchase orders for all of the items to all the different vendors.